Taeon, you know the guys that brought us that god-awful Rambo game, is actually making a new game. So why should we care? After all, it was complete atrocity what they did to First Blood. Well, in case you've been living under a rock, Taeon has actually had a redemption arc. Because they later went on to make Terminator Resistance, which was absolutely amazing, and if that wasn't enough, they even went on to make an almost perfect Robocop game with Rogue City. In fact, Robocop Rogue City was my personal 2023 game of the year. We won, so smile. So what is this new game they're developing? Well, for starters, is not what you're expecting because it's not another first person shooter. According to their website, they're looking to hire people for an unannounced action RPG project. So yeah, something completely different than the style we're used to getting from this company. But you know what? I am all for it. After all, I think this team should take the next step in designing their games. I mean, why not? They've gone from a Rambo game that basically everyone hated to then go on and make incredible games set in the Terminator and Robocop universes. In fact, Robocop Rogue City not only gave the player the ultimate power fantasy of stepping into the shoes of Alex J. Murphy, but it even has some RPG elements already implemented in that game, such as allowing you to roleplay as Robocop with the dialogue options and allowing you to customize Robocop's traits and skill sets but also is Auto-9 hand cannon with the chip modification system. So it's not like these guys have zero experience with RPG mechanics. Though I'm sure I already know what you're thinking. You're most likely asking the questions. Why even bother getting excited if they're only in the early stages of development? Will they stick with making licensed games based on kick-ass franchises? Well, let's start with the time frame. These guys are not your typical AAA game developers. They don't take five to eight years to make a single game. In fact, Robocop only took them a total of three years to develop, which is absolutely insane in today's climate. So yeah, this isn't just another studio that makes an announcement only to disappear for five, six years without any further details on the game. So yeah, let's be real, we're most likely going to get this unannounced action RPG before Bethesda finally releases The Elder Scrolls 6. That was announced six years ago. Like, come on guys, what's going on? But let's move on to the other question. Are they going to deliver another badass licensed franchise in video game format? Well, I'm going to speculate a bit here, but I definitely think they're going to because they've stated it. They've noted that they had their eyes on several big IPs. In fact, they've even said, with the success of Robocop Rogue City, they feel as if more doors have been opened for them. So, we have to ask ourselves, which one of these iconic old school franchises would be perfect for an ARPG? Well, there are two that immediately sprung to my mind. And the first one was Escape from New York. I mean, how awesome would it be to fly into New York City as Snake Plissken? And I don't mean this Snake Plissken. Name is Plissken. I mean, the OG version of Snake. You know, the guy with the eye patch. Well, the original guy with the eye patch, played by Kurt Russell. Call me Snake. How sick would it be to try to survive the gangs in New York as we have to gather animation, melee weapons, and resources, taking on different allies along the way as we build up a party of stragglers in order to complete our mission and rescue the president. After all, Snake did all those things in the movie and I think that would transfer extremely well into an ARPG. But it's not the only franchise that popped into my mind. Another perfect action RPG would be a Judge Dredd game. And this one could be very badass. Think of all the cool theory crafting we could do. After all, the Lawgiver is already a customizable weapon, so why not let the player design how the gun controls and plays? Much like they did with the Auto 9 in Robocop. 
In fact, they could go even a step further and really allow us to step into the role of Judge Dredd as we get to determine the judgment for criminal scum as we patrol the blocks in Mega City 1. Now I know, I know, Rebellion owns the rights to this franchise, but they have stated and even teased for years that we will see the return of the judge in video game format. In fact, they've even been opened to the idea of partnering with other developers and publishers in the past. And with the successful track record of Teon, why not give them a shot at the beloved Judge Dredd IP? Because I don't know about you guys, but I am ready for a Judge Dredd game. Ready? Yeah. You look ready. But I would love to hear what you all think. Which franchise should these guys tackle next and turn into an ARPG? Let me know what you want in the comments down below. By the way, if you made it this far and did enjoy the video, let me know by dropping a like. And if you are new, please consider subscribing. As for me, I got a ton of work to do, so I'm going to get back to the grind and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.